Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share some thrifty book finds that I found, um, and mostly at Goodwill. A few of them were gifts, um, just two of them. Um, so I'll show you all the awesome books I found at Goodwill for our homeschool. So if you want to see that, then just keep watching. Two I'm going to show you are not from Goodwill. This one is one that my mother-in-law got Reagan. She also got Briley one. I think they're the same. This one's Exotic Animals. Um, I'm pretty sure they're the same one. I could be wrong, but it's just a sticker mosaic book. Um, and you just make pictures with stickers. Like you match the sticker number with the, with the place that it goes. Like so, just something to keep her busy. Something fun for her to do. Kind of art related, hands on. Here's a scorpion. And there's penguin, toucan, like. Just all kinds of sticker mosaics, something fun and easy for her to do. I do have to help her with it because she doesn't recognize numbers yet. So I do have to kind of help her out with that, but it's still something we can do together that's fun for her and not so um, schooly. <laughs> and then I bought her this nature journal. I took it out of the packaging and it comes with all of this stuff. This is the Welly Wishers um, by American Girl brand but this is a nature journal I thought it was so cute and I was gonna give it to her for Christmas but I just went ahead and gave it to her now because at Christmas it's gonna be too cold probably to use this outside so um, we just went on a nature walk yesterday and um, we haven't used this yet but it's got like different little stories about American girls um, this one says what leaves did you find so we can place leaves here, glue them to the page, where, when, describe. You can draw pictures of them or glue the leaves here. Same with these pages. Here's flowers. Um, what flowers did you find? Where, smell, color, describe them. And we can even look the flowers up and figure out what kind they are if we don't know. What else did you find? There's like mushrooms, um, pine cones eggs acorns feathers you know just a little a cute little nature journal and i thought this would be perfect for her something fun for us to do and to get us outside while we still can so i really like this um this is the welly wishers one by american girl i'll try to find it and link it but this is so cute and i think i paid like five dollars for it and it came with crayons and a magnifying glass and stickers and post-it notes so super cute little nature journal and it does close all the way if you don't have all this stuff in here so okay the next ones I did find at Goodwill and I was so excited about these finds because our Goodwill has the best book selection I've found homeschool curriculum all kinds of great readers chapter books just anything you want to know it really like our whole education is going to come from Goodwill at this point I'm not even kidding like most of our homeschool stuff I get at Goodwill it's awesome the one near us anyway it's incredible um, I did find this set of Laura Ingalls books. We are actually, Laura Ingalls Wilder. We are actually reading on the banks of Plum Creek now. We've already read Little House in the Big Woods. We haven't read Little House on the Prairie yet. I still need to get that one. But this is the one we are currently reading. I found these four. Um, this one is By the Shores of Silver Lake, Farmer Boy, and These Happy Golden Years. And this is the paperback. Next one I found is Landmark Books, The Landing of the Pilgrims, Newberry Award-winning author James Daugherty, um, one of the most critically acclaimed best-selling children's book series ever published, says the New York Times. So I don't know, I've never read this, but it looked like it would be a good one to teach, like, kind of history of that. I love the American Girl books. Um, I've got their... Care and Keeping of You 1 and 2, um, like the body book for girls. This one is the American Girl Real Families, Figuring Out Your Family and Where You Fit In. And this just teaches family dynamics, um, like, let's see, um, your family growing and changing, um, getting along, get close, 
family first aid, like family related stuff. So I thought this would be good for her, especially since she's coming from a mixed family. Um, she um, has a stepdad and half brothers and sisters and we're a foster family. Um, well, we were a foster family. Um, I'll have an update on that soon. But yeah, we, I think just anything like that is good for all kids to, you know, talk about what a family is and how it should function and how it works and things to make it better. Um, so yeah, this one is Points of Grace by Beth Moore, a devotional and Bible study workbook, Faith, Family, Friends, and Boys. We're getting to that age, which she doesn't seem to care about that at all, which I'm fine with. But, um, I'm sure it's coming, so. Beauty tips, inner beauty and outer beauty, family. Um, honoring your father and mother. Becoming a girl of grace. What is your focus? Spiritual discipline. Faith. Um, yeah, it's just a devotional for girls so well, this would be good for her and it hasn't been written in at all it has all kinds of questions and stuff and it hasn't been used at all so each chapter includes devotionals biblical study guides um, inner and outer beauty tips fun biblically based book points of grace shares personal experiences and practical teaching as they explore four important topics faith family friends and boys and lead the way for all who desire to be godly girls of grace. This is another American Girl book. This is A Smart Girl's Guide to Manners, The Secrets to Grace, Confidence, and Being Your Best. And they have all kinds. They've got pictures of Smart Girl's Guide to Money, A Smart Girl's Guide to Friendship Troubles, A Smart Girl's Guide to Starting Middle School, and A Smart Girl's Guide to Boys. They have all, American Girl has a ton of books, and I'll probably look on their website for more but I'll keep an eye out at Goodwill for more of these because I really like their books and the way they're laid out and they're fun and colorful. And, um, yeah, I think they're great. Is the Kindergarten Survival Handbook, the Before School Checklist, and Guide for Parents. So we are homeschooling, but this just gives us an idea of what she should be, learn should be learning in kindergarten. It was, all these books were like $1.50 or less, like 77 cents to $1.50, so... I mean, anything to help, but this is just, like, more for me to know what I should be teaching her at that age. And she's still in pre-K, but she will be starting kindergarten next um, fall, so. Yeah, things they need to know, understanding and being understood, self-help and social skills, large movement skills, small movement skills, using senses, recognizing pictures, words, and letters, Helping children learn things they need to know, understand and be understood, learn self-help and social skills. Yeah. So. I have several of these Lemony Snicket books. I need to go through and see which all ones that I have. We have not started the series yet, which we're way behind. But I have most of them. I want to get them all. Um, this is number 13. I mean, there's several. Um, I can't remember exactly how many are in the series, but the show is on Netflix, and then the, but I want to read the books first. Um, I read one in elementary school, and I really liked it, so I want to read these with Briley. I don't know when we'll get around to it, because I want to read all the Laura Ingalls books first, because I really love these as well, so we'll see, um, but I have a lot of these Lemony Snicket books, um, a series of, a series of unfortunate events, but um, I want to read some of these with her, too. So, I thought I had this whole set, the Alice in Babylon storybook. Apparently, there's more that I don't have. This is the story of Paul. I need to look up and see which all ones that I don't have, but I have about 10 of these. And I knew I didn't have this one, so I picked it up. But I did find a big set of them at Goodwill a long time ago, and I have like 9, and then this would be like 10. So... I don't know how many more I'm missing, but I need to look it up because I really like these. This is Basher Science Extreme Biology. From superbugs to clones, get to the edge of science. So I thought this one would be really fun. Um, it's all, and they have a lot of different 
different ones. They've got algebra, geometry, astronomy, biology, chemistry, human physics, planet Earth, rocks and minerals, and technology. Um, and you can find these at basherbooks.com. And I think these are by Kingfisher as well. Sorry, Reagan came to get her Play-Doh. The next book I have is Shiloh. So I had another Shiloh book. It was like Saving Shiloh. It was like the second Shiloh book. I don't even know if they go together. But I loved this book when I was a kid. And I want to read this one with Riley and watch the movie. So I picked this one up. I love that movie. It was so good when I was a kid. So... Shiloh, very popular. The next one is the story of Harriet Tubman, Freedom Train. I loved Harriet Tubman, reading about her in school. I thought she was so brave, and I would love for Brawley to read about her as well. I think we've talked about her, but, you know, we haven't read the book, so I think it would really um, help her to understand even more about that time in history. Here's another Lemony Snicket book. This is number 12, and... This is the penultimate peril. So I bought these Magic School Bus books and I actually already have two of them. I have the ocean floor one and the waterworks one. I didn't have this inside the earth one, but I didn't realize that I already had these. So I have two copies of these, so I'll figure out what to do with it. but. It was a dollar, you know, it'll be okay. This one's a little controversial, but this is World, Relig World Religions, grades 6 through 8. Um, teacher created resources, um, interdisciplinary thematic unit. So I bought this because we are a Christian family with Christian values, but my daughter's had some questions about other religions, and it's really hard for me to explain because. I don't know a whole lot about other religions. I know a little bit about each one, but I don't know a whole lot, and I can't really answer her questions. So I thought this would be good for both of us to go over together and kind of explain more about other religions and what other people believe so we can be respectful of others, although it would also help us possibly to understand our faith even better as well. So it does teach... And they have like a whole social studies unit as well, like Native American arts and culture, social studies, holidays, um, multicultural holidays, stuff like that. Christmas around the world. Um, but it talks about Taoism, Sikhism, Buddhism, Indian religions, Hinduism, Islam, Christianity, and Judaism. Atheism, agnosticism, and comparative and reflective activities, world religions exams, bibliography. So I thought this would be a good addition to our Bible study. Um, I know a lot of Christian families try to avoid teaching about other religions, but I think it's good for our kids, especially Christian kids, to know about other religions and understand others so they can under you know be more compassionate towards other religions because you know we f we tend to fear what we don't know and don't understand so i think it's better that we arm our kids with the truth of the bible of course i believe that the bible is true and there's one true god and i know not everyone believes that and i'm respectful of others but i also expect others to be respectful of my beliefs um but I just think it's good for everyone to know, you know, why, you know, people believe what they believe and try to be more understanding even if it's not what we believe. This last book I had to get, um, this one's mainly for Luca. This book is How Do Dinosaurs Say Goodnight and it's very special to me because my little brother, Kobe, if you're watching, hey little brother. Do you remember this book? I used to read him this book almost every night when he was like three because he loved it. Um, and it was just like a special little thing me and my mom did. We read this to my brother almost every night and it's just special to us. And when I saw this, I had to get it because I'm definitely going to read this to my son every night. So that is everything for this 
book haul. I hope you enjoyed this and let me know what great book finds you have found thrifting or at Goodwill or whatever thrift store or wherever. Um, and what were your favorites and out of these, have you read any of these? Do you like them? What are your thoughts? Leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and Jesus loves you too. God bless you all. Bye. This is one more book. I forgot to mention it was hidden. It fell down. But this is an American Girl Real Beauty book. Um, 101 Ways to Feel Great About You. It says, What is real beauty? It's not something you find in the makeup aisle or in the pages of a fashion magazine. Real beauty comes from liking yourself, from feeling strong and healthy, and from knowing what's beautiful in everyone around you. The Real Beauty book is packed with ideas and activities to help you bring out the best in yourself and show you that beauty comes in all shapes and sizes. And then it's got a few other books, What Would You Do, The Feelings Book, The Care and Keeping of Me, Care and Keeping of You for Girls, and some other books that they have. They have a lot of books, so highly recommend these American Girl books, and you can get them at AmericanGirl.com. And please don't forget to click that subscribe button, like this video, and share my videos. It really helps me out a whole lot. Thanks again. Bye.